watch to the end to see the awesome result. Today we're going to do weaving. So I want you to place each of the leaves um, next to each other. It does not matter if they're out of, out of shape <clears throat> or not facing the right way. Just make sure they're lined up together. You want to get a good amount of them. You don't want it to be too small. So get around between, well, anywhere above 10, depending on what you're trying to make, or depending on how long your leaves are. Now line them all up for weaving. Weaving is easy once you know what you're doing. So you start over, under, over, under. So it doesn't matter which one you start for the middle one. It can be under or over, and then the one next to it, you want to do the opposite. So if the middle started over, then the one next to it will be under. Same for that one on the right, and then same with the one on the left here. See? Under as well. So it's a continuous weaving, and you're doing the opposite to hold it together. This is an easy step, you're just moving all the leaves to get all reeds together to hold, like that, just move them together. It will also look nicer, and it's stronger. Now for the difficult bit, you want to make a diagonal one. So you don't have to do one, but make sure all your squares are even, so each side is even, so you can diagonally weave. So you can weave once diagonally you can weed until you, there's no more diagonally until there's no more left but it is very difficult and the le reeds or leaves are likely to break if you're thinking would other leaves or reeds work this didn't do too well this didn't do too bad so experiment 